All right, let's start off with a nice, easy one. Pablo, what comes to mind when I say the movie The Blues Brothers? Blues Brothers, classic movie. Love it. Too many lines to say, to name. He's doing a voice. He is. I think it's in the history books is the most cop cars wrecked in a movie. Would make sense. Um, Frank Oz, special appearance in it. Yeah. Um, he knows a lot about the Blues Brothers. I'm impressed. Give me four fried chickens. <laughs> nice. And some white toast. That's all I'm going to say. Um, John Belushi, punk rock guy all day. All day. All day. Leaving. Yeah, exactly. Uh, my favorite scene is when the nuns hitting them yes. on the yes. hands for cursing, <laughs> and they respond to that by more cursing. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Ah, fuck. I love that. It reminds me of my, you know, a movie that that era of movies I watched all of them with my pop. Right on. Because the parenting was a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> they left to be they left, left something to be desired. My parents at that at that era. Pablo Didi Ramon. Didi Ramon, nice haircut. <laughs> well. Um... Probably when it comes down to it, uh, this is tough to say, but probably the most important piece of the Ramones. I was going to say the same exact thing. He. What did he play? <laughs> he played bass, but he wrote everything. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, and then when he left the band, they hired him to write the next record. Like that's how important he was. Um, we talked, our, our topic tonight was, um, things that can ruin things for people. His rap record uh -huh. is such a fucking mockery. <laughs> Forgot about that. And that yeah. fucking video is such a fucking mockery. The <laughs> only a, reason he can live is because where he was at that time, the time and place and the motherfuckers were really around him and mm -hmm. he was really around motherfuckers because people, real people helped with that yeah. shit show. So it isn't Didi's fault, you know what I'm saying? The Per se, he, he had left the band and was like, people were throwing, we all know that era, people were throwing money at everyone back then, man. At, like, lots of money. There's a theory, too, that he did that just to piss Johnny off. Well, so, uh, look, I mean, man, right I, look, too. the shit he was into and yeah. the type of motherfucker them dudes were because they were all mad at each other, very much a kiss scenario where they didn't like each other but knew that they mm -hmm. they were best for each other. If you told me that, I, I never heard that until right now. Like I ain't questioning that. Yeah. And real people were involved in the making of it. And like I said, that whole scene in, in LES and, and then Uptown, yeah, whatever, and he, the, the, people were all wrapped up. He was definitely the most legitimate street fucking. That motherfucker was the most legitimate street one of them until he tapped. Yeah. Yeah. Out of his fucking mind, which none of us said. He, like, en yeah. Endless Vacation is also probably my favorite Ramon song. Nice. Push comes to the show. Nice. Nice. Well done. Pablo, Guru. Guru, one of the best MCs of all time. Nothing more to say. Jeffrey? Well, do you need to go pit stuff in the dryer? I do. Because if I forget, I'm I know. fucking fucked. I know. So it's in the wash right now, yeah. soaking. I forgot what, to, oh, I you're forgot to fucking, fucking put it in the dryer. Kill you. Um... Mm -hmm. What are we? Who are we asking? Guru, Guru from Gangstar. Gangstar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, v Vinny's gonna say a few things, and I I agree with them. <laughs> I, I mean, like, I can laugh, but I like that. He's setup. dead on. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know who the fuck that is, honestly. Uh, Guru. Whew, there's so much to say about them because they they're arguably the. De they're arguably the best group of all time. I mean, it's, it's like Tribe De La EPMD. Take your pick of the Tribe De La EPMD. Um, he didn't say gangster, though. He said guru. Yeah. Um, <sighs> Daily Operation. Uh, 
every word he says on that record is perfect. Cool. Daily operation. Nice. Yeah, because Pablo, in a, again, I, it's, if you said gangstar, you know, it's a different. Pablo, Queen Latifah. Latifah, Latifah. Saw her live back in 80, whatever, 90, whatever. Awesome show. She's a great performer. I want to say 89. It was her, third base, yeah. Big Daddy Kane. 89, And 90. fuck, who was the fourth person? There was four people there. Is that when Tim Dog almost beat you up? No, no, no. This was at uh, bringing that up. I do. This was at like 38th and Chestnut, that yeah. ice rink. Yeah. And that was the show where um, Big Daddy Kane he headlined, and he took his shirt off, put it down his pants, and wiped his junk with it, junk. And threw threw it in the crowd, and almost caused a fucking riot with all the Johns that Listen, were trying to I get mean, BDK. It's Big Daddy. He and wiped then, his wang. And then this, they had a comedian come on. Big Daddy Co. They call. Him. Yeah. <laughs> they, they had a comedian <laughs> come on. His bat. In between sets, uh -huh. and he was doing material on Cool C. Uh huh. Wow. Unbeknownst, Cool C walks up on stage behind Ball, and the whole crowd's going crazy, and the comedian has no fucking idea what's going on, allegedly. And then it turns around, and Cool C just does, like, what, motherfucker? Oh, and word. the boy just, like, runs off stage. And nice. then Cool C went and shot a cop. Truly, after. Those were the shows where everybody was there. Like, <clears throat> you could see backstage from where I was sitting. And, yeah. like, Dre and Ed Lover were there. Like, yeah, yeah, just motherfuckers yeah. who were just chilling yeah, in the that's cut. that's how shit was, man. Yeah. Who the fuck were we doing? Queen Latifah. Latifah. Oh. Uh, you and I, T-Y. Good. Okay. Uh, Good. Right. Vinny? Uh, I'm, I'm not, nor have I ever been a fan of female MCs. And uh, Latifah is in that list of... Females that I did love and own the albums. Latifa, she can spit on that first album. Light, man. Antoinette, Shantae. She's in this very small group of female rappers that got burned for me. Wrath of My Madness was brilliant. The real rock yeah. stand? No. Fuck. <laughs> now get out of here. What are you talking about? Stop talking. Roxanne, Roxanne, the, the answer song? The, the, uh, it's so good. Stop. It's so good. Controversy. <sighs> Can't go, Mr. Sophisticated. As far that shit was hard as nails. It was. But not her, John. Oh, it kind of was. Stop. You need to go back and listen. To <laughs> All, right. All right. All right. I have it on my iPad, and All it right. comes up pretty often, and the kids love it. All right. They're like, what the fuck is yeah, this? Yeah. Oh, my kids, this was what rap was right. <laughs> when it first started. Right. Pablo, Bugs Bunny, the old Bugs Bunny cartoons. It's weird. This will play into the to the mailbag. Um, yes, he is regarded to me as one of the best cartoons characters of all time. What the fuck? <laughs> I knew what he was saying. I mean, I did too. But he's got he's and I I think I model my life after him a little bit. <laughs> yeah. little, you know, I'm a little you know wisecracker. You know, what I'm saying like, I mean, like start trouble. I'd say you're a little more sometimes, woody -ish, but <laughs> sometimes I cross dress. You know. <laughs> Kiss men <laughs> for dramatic reasons. Right on. Whew.